Yeah, hey everyone. So Matt Hartman here, and today I'll be talking about how you can power your agentic experiences via application integration. So we'll be going over the entire tool set, functionality, how to expose this integration process via an agent. But looking at this more holistically, I just wanted to provide a high level reference architecture about everything we'll be talking about today. So with that, first things first, we'll have our application integration process and process set on the right set here which is gonna expose itself via an API trigger to a wide variety of data sources. So I've essentially issued a couple different connectivity entry points to my system, one of them being an AS400 that lives on premise that I'm exposing via an open legacy data pipeline. I've also exposed connectivity entry points into ServiceNow, into Salesforce, into SAP. And I also deterministically identify based on the input context, what should happen next? So should I send an email? Should I write a ticket to a queue, whatever it may be. With that as well, like I mentioned before, this application integration process right here will expose itself as a conversational agent and tool set, which will be available to the agentic framework. So an agentic client, so think agent space, Google chat, some sort of web application, whatever it may be, is going to call into this agentic framework, agentic orchestration, which has your application integration process for any sort of um, orchestration data-esque needs. And it can also use a set of vertex models. So for this use case, I'll use Gemini for any sort of reasoning, clarification, or whatever it may be, back to the end clients. So here I am in my application integration overview, build canvas. And what I wanted to showcase now is the set of processes that I'm going to expose to my agentic framework. So if I go to my integrations, I pre-selected a couple here. So the first one I wanted to showcase is the account lookup agent. So as I mentioned before, this is an API trigger that's able to deduce the information available to the underlying agentic orchestration and call into a set of services to return pertinent account order details. So a couple different connectivity entry points I wanted to highlight. The biggest one being open legacy. So like I mentioned before, this is a legacy AS400 instance, probably 20 to 25 years old, that I was able to modernize via application integration because through that open legacy data pipeline, I'm able to expose this service via a custom connector, which is very, very powerful functionality. So like I mentioned before, here is my custom connector for that AS400, which again, like I mentioned before, I've pre-created it. If I haven't created it before, um, it's very, very easy. All you have to specify is a pertinent set of details, which if we go to the custom connection entry point right here, um, it basically just references some sort of open API specification and we'll be able to create that custom connectivity service for you. So again, like I mentioned before, very easy, very straightforward, very easy way to expose this service. So like I mentioned before, the next question may be, well, okay, I created a drag and drop process. What can I do with this now? So First things first with that, once you deploy the process to a specific region, you're able to one click in application integration to be able to create a conversational agent and agent tool set. So you can either choose an existing tool set, create a new tool set, create a new agent, whatever you need to do. And basically, as you can see here, it's a, it's a wizard. It's an interactive wizard that exposes all the different agents and tool sets available to your service account. So again, like I mentioned before, we'll go through this agent builder in a second, but just know that this can be one click created, which is very, very powerful functionality. With that as well, the second process that I wanted to highlight is a more deterministic workflow for ticket creation. So depending on the input user, whether it's a customer or a partner, I'm able to orchestrate some sort of ticket right to different systems. So I have ServiceNow. I also have a um, JSM instance that I'm able to write to. And in addition to that, when it's a customer, I'm also validating, is it a reseller instance, a direct customer? How was this underlying customer instance of this service sold? So depending on that, I'm able to fire off some sort of approval to a partner email. I also alert on some sort of ticket escalation. So some sort of high priority customer, high prioritization based on the sentiment analysis of the agent. So again, all that orchestration is handled by the agent fulfillment framework. And then they'll call into this process, which is able to deterministically identify all those details that I mentioned before. Next item I wanted to highlight is the application. So this agentic application I was able to create powered by the application integration processes 
So first things first is I want to highlight this e-commerce agent assistant that I talked about before that's going to use all of those processes to determine account information, order information, create tickets, and anything and everything you'd need given that enterprise context. So here's that playbook I talked about before. So it has a goal, which I've already highlighted, and a set of instructions and examples I've already pre-created. So basically, hey, if you get these specific details, which we'll go through in agent space, um, basically use these tools. And the question may be, well, what are those tools? So those tools, like I mentioned before, are the application integration processes that we pre-created and that we integrated through that one click I showcased before. So here's my first tool, the get account order tool, which should look pretty familiar. And like I mentioned before, it basically is an open API specification behind the scenes, which is a declarative document that describes the underlying application integration build process, request pattern flows, response pattern flows, how to auth, which is very, very nice as well. Because one of the big functionality adds is as you can see here, I'm using a service agent token. So I'm having some sort of agentic identity that's able to orchestrate the access of that process. So think refresh tokens, access tokens, all that and off Z guardrails are more or less powered by that better together mantra. So yeah, with that, um, I secondly also wanted to highlight the agent space application that I created. So as you can see here, I've created an agent space application, which you'll see in a second. And what I was able to do is within the configuration blade you see here, I created an assistant. So the assistant is more so used for items such as grounding, adding your enterprise context, RAG, and all of those good entities. So with that, I created an agent integration with that e-commerce agent I highlighted before. So the agent ID is just the identifier of that agent, which you can provide and grab in the browser, or it's available in the metadata of the agent, and also a set of instructions. So, okay, I should use this specific tool set this agent under these scenarios available here. So next with that, we'll be talking about how to integrate the service and test it with the agent space. So here I am in my agent space preview canvas where we're going to test that entire end to end workflow. So application integration process to the agent and the agent tool set integrated with agent space. So let's follow some of those instructions we highlighted before. So first things first, I'll just say hello. Um, so greet it. And then I'll just say, um, I am looking for all orders associated with my customer symbol LLC. And what this is going to do, and you'll see a set of build processes kick off here is, and it should be successful now, um, is it was able to determine based on the account name, the account ID, and then access the mainframe, which is very, very powerful for that legacy order management system. So again, modernizing it and integrating with agent space. So, okay. I have a set of orders. Um, what would you like to know more about? So I'll just say, um, I would like more details about order ID blah. And again, it's just going to give me more verbose information based on the examples that I fed into it. So, okay. It was shipped. Is this helpful? So again, like we mentioned before, the order management tool was kicked off. So I would just say, um, yes, it was. I would like to create a ticket on this order urgently. And what I will say is um, something along the lines of, okay, so uh, the, the order was returned by the end consumer. However, they did not receive a rebate. Um, so that should give it most, it may ask a clarifying question because I included that in an example just to confirm all the information. So, but I need to confirm and yes, that is correct. So again, it should be able to determine that it's urgent, all the details it needs, and it should be able to kick off a process, which you'll see here. So it just created the ticketing agent, which as you can see, here is the input. So high priority ticket, um, the customer's upset they haven't been refunded and great. It created it and also high priority. It sent me an email, which I will show now. So as you can see here, um, it did send me an email. So I'll show that screen in a second, but P0 issue filed, please address, um, give me one second. Just wanted to quickly showcase as well that that email was fired off as we mentioned before. So P0 issue escalate, and you can review the ticket right from here. So it links out to the JIRA ticket that I created because this is a customer and it went down that deterministic workflow to be able to address based on the sentiment analysis and the customer type.